This video is about machining a vacuum pad. So let's begin. With this part, we have the classic issue that we need to machine from five sides. And I will start with the mounting holes here so we can use them later to machine the outside. So we start with drill, helical drill, and the three point function. First, create the large hole for the screw head. Let's make it 16 millimeters deep. Then create a ceiling surface, 1.4 millimeter deep, and starting at the bottom of the previous hole. And finally, drill completely through, six millimeters, and start at 16, so total depth of 22. We need this a second time. We can do this just with a stamp function. And we're ready. Before machining, I make sure the holes will hit the slots of my T-slot table and also make sure that there are slot nuts at the right positions. The coordinates are easy to find with the middle mouse button and can be entered in the controller command line. Now we can clamp the part with the holes we just drilled and remove the step clamps on the outside. The material is not perfectly flat, so I just milled it down to 20 millimeters. The bottom is also machined to be perfectly flat, it's just not shown in the video. The next step is to machine the main pocket. Then the hole for the air inlet. And the outside. And we need to make sure not to cut into the T-slot table. So we use a little bit less than 20 millimeters. Now we change the tool to a 3mm end mill and create a slot for the large o-ring. The burr at the bottom is removed with a ruler. So, let's test it. I 
as you can see, I can move the whole machine around with it. The pump I'm using here is a rotary vein pump. I got it from eBay for about $110. They are relatively silent and create almost complete vacuum. Don't worry about the smoke, it's just water vapor. Vacuum cleaners for comparison only achieve 20 to 30% vacuum, so the clamping forces of the rotary vein pump are 3 to 5 times higher. But they also have two disadvantages. They are easy to clog or damage if you suck dust and chips into the pump. And they do not tolerate much leakage before the vacuum breaks down significantly. So it is very strong and silent, but applications are limited to cases where you do not create leakages during machining. To protect the pump from dust and chips, I've made a cheap filter from sewage pipes and added a few valves to connect my vacuum pads. Make sure to use three two-way valves, as regular valves will not release the vacuum after shutting off. The last thing I like to show you in this video is how the center of the lid can easily be found for machining. Select Setup Workpiece, Touch of Sender. Then just touch off three random points around the pot. It really doesn't matter where those points are, just make sure they are somewhat equally distributed. 